hello my loves and welcome back to my channel today i'm coming to you guys with a review and swatch video on the one and the only new milani amore matte lip creams i have all eight right here all these beautiful golden babies are mine i found these at walgreens about five days ago and i was so excited to get my hands on them because they're limited edition so a little bit about these these are supposed to be released on august 1st but of course you know all walgreens they're all a little scattered so they tend to release the limited edition stuff and all their displays a little bit earlier sometimes for the most part i feel like the 24 hour walgreens are the ones where you can find these the soonest now this is an exclusive collection for only walgreens and milani.com i did confirm with them um, directly that they will be selling these online on their website so i will leave their website link down below and um i guess the release date is august 1st on their website and how it's supposed to be in the store release but i got my hands on these obviously way before august 1st i personally love milani products for the most part i feel like they compare to high-end products hands down their lip products are one of my favorites their milani statement lipsticks mwah, superb i love their cream colors not their shimmers and i love their mattes because they did come out with some mattes so the packaging is absolutely gorgeous it is the typical milani gold and it does look very similar to their lip glosses but these are matte lip creams and it says it on the back really big amore matte and the doe foot applicator is actually a flat doe foot applicator and it has these nice straight edges that you can kind of it kind of helps you line your lips a little bit better and then fill them in so these are 6.99 at the store and if you get a buy one get one 50 percent off deal within the next month that would be great especially if you can get your hands on these but i think 6.99 is still a great price so i'm just gonna get started into swatching the first color i have on is 01 crush and it's this color right here um i am wearing it on my lips today and i will be wearing it for the duration of this video because my lips are hurting and this was actually a color that i did not think that i would like it is just a mid-tone warm brown it's very cocoa like it looks like chocolate it is absolutely beautiful on my lips it looks really pretty and pigmented and i felt like it was like my favorite lip liner on my lips like it swatches at first differently it looks lighter but then it darkens up this reminds me of my coco loco lip liner from jordana and of course jordana and milani are sister companies and that's why i'm wearing it on my lips today because i think it looks great <laughs> so the next color is zero to adore and it is an absolutely gorgeous nude this looks like a straight up nude to me but i feel like on the camera it translates a little bit more pink so i do recommend using some concealer or a nice nude lip liner so that it prevents it from looking too streaky but i feel like it evened itself out eventually once it dried and it wasn't too noticeable this color is like a perfect nude it's not too light and it's not too dark and if you're someone that has a darker skin tone of course you'd want to wear it with a nice uh skin toned lip liner so that way it just kind of suits your skin tone a little bit better but i absolutely love it and i think it's just fantastic so the next color is number three beloved and this is just a gorgeous color it reminds me of latte confessions from the la splash and it there's another color from lime crime that this reminds me of i just can't think of the name right now i think it's called craft and i think it's absolutely gorgeous um it's just like a beautiful rosy neutral mauve color this is going to be a lot of people's favorite color because it's like a mid-tone beautiful neutral t color so i highly recommend this color i think this is a beautiful all-around universal color so definitely try that next color is 04 lust now this is another beautiful mid-tone pinky color this is just gorgeous it will suit a lot of different type of women um, a lot of different complexions you can wear it with a lip liner or without this does not go on streaky at all whatsoever just like number three um, i feel like those two colors are going to be one of the more popular ones along with the nude shade adore and this just looks fantastic on my skin tone it's just a perfect 
neutral pink. So the next color I have here is Embrace 05. They do have a statement lipstick that's very similar to this color. Now this right here, one, it stains the lip. Two, it goes on streaky, which is not my most favorite, but the color is so beautiful. I do feel like you can use like the heroin lip liner. I feel like it'll work best with some sort of lip liner under this. Um, definitely be careful when you apply the second coat because it does pull onto the product you already have on your lips. So it might be best to work with this as the layers dry up. And I do not recommend any more than two coats for this color. So the, onto the next color, which is number 06 Design. I think this is an absolutely gorgeous plain old classic red this is definitely a retro red if you love those kind of like almost orange based reds this would be the one that you would go for it does not have orange undertones but it kind of would be closer to that it's definitely not a blue based red but this is absolutely gorgeous neutral red Perfect for a nice pinup look, a classic look with a wing eyeliner. I definitely love this. I would pair this up with a red lip liner hands down because I don't want it to be too streaky. Now on to 07 Romance. This I wore the other day and it is one of my absolute favorite deep red colors. It's very vampy and blood red. The only problem I have with this, this one is another streaky shade and I feel like I should have paired this up with a lip liner when I first wore it. Um, now, I would not recommend applying any more than two coats of this lipstick because once you do, it definitely will crack on you like noticeably so and definitely pair this up with a nice dark vampy lip liner or even just a basic red lip liner i feel like you would get a better coverage with this and last but not least we have 08 flirt this is a gorgeous vampy color it does look like a darker version of embrace but with a lot more deeper plum raisin tones to it it is gorgeous it does go on a little streaky but you can definitely pair this up with a darker lip liner even like Night Moth from MAC, I think this would be a perfect match made in heaven. You would get such a gorgeous vampy color and I'm in love with this shade and I cannot wait to wear it when it gets a little colder out. So guys, that's pretty much it for these swatches on the Milani lipsticks. Um, as I mentioned before, the price is $6.99. It is exclusive to Walgreens. So go get your hands on them. I absolutely love them. I do feel like the more popular shades are going to be Adore, which is 02, Beloved, 03, 04, Lust. These are all like neutral colors right here. As you can see there, they're like the mid-tone shades. And you can mix those up and make your own colors. So Embrace, Romance, and Flirt were the most streaky out of the whole collection. And I guess deservedly so because there's so much dimension to these colors. These have like a base of pink, a base of purple, you know, like stuff like that. So it just, it kind of, it's it needs to be layered. But I do recommend using these with lip liners hands down. Now Adore was a little streaky, but I felt like it just kind of evened itself out the more that I worked the applicator on. And I do feel like you could benefit from using a lip liner with this like Mac World or um, Jordana's uh, Rose Bud Color or, you know, just a neutral lip liner would definitely kind of even out the lips and you can apply this without any streaking. So these matte lip creams are absolutely fantastic. They feel very soft on the lips. Of course, they're drying because it is a matte lip cream and they dry on your lips like no transfer so the thing about these are it takes about one to two minutes to dry depending on how many coats you put on your lips and i do not recommend putting any more than maybe two coats on your lips i do recommend using a lip liner with some of these overall these are absolutely gorgeous the shades are nothing spectacular but there is something here for everyone i feel um it obviously there is no blacks no blues no grays which would have been nice but i feel like they 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 tend to cater to um, more mature women um, or just pretty much just the general public because not everyone's going to want to wear gray or green lips, but 
I don't mind. So these are the swatches here. This is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. So these are the swatches. As you can see, some of these are a little streaky right here the most, and everything else has applied really evenly, and it's just one swipe. So anyway, guys, that's pretty much it for my review and swatch on the Milani Amore Matte Lip Creams. I hope you guys like this video. Please thumbs up, don't forget to subscribe, and as always, I'll see you guys in my next video. Love you guys. Bye. No transfer.